<laughs> hey guys, welcome to this new video. We're in my apartment in Berlin um, with a fresh new haircut <laughs> and a microphone which I haven't used in a while, so yeah, I guess it's working. I don't know if you have noticed it yet, but um, yeah, I'm a professional. If you didn't believe me yet, I don't blame you, but now you can see I'm a professional, so please stop asking those questions why I have permission to teach you stuff or whatever, so I guess <laughs> it's clear now. So our 90 lighting came up with this visualization pre pre-visualization contest and I thought this is a great opportunity to show you guys how you can design stages and use some tips and tricks like I did in the last video so if you haven't seen this video go check it out. In this video we're talking a little bit about lighting design and how you can support like the thoughts of a festival or the producer. <laughs> So yeah, they have a bunch of rules which I don't really care about. So you can win a bunch of prizes, some LED effects, nobody cares. But there's a really cool prize and this is a misprinted oversized anti-lighting lighting club hoodie. And I think this is the only really good thing you can win. So the scenario is I've been approached to design and run a stage for a huge new festival called A Group where we <laughs> pretend to all work at the same music festival festival. <laughs> So I guess this is the Facebook group, right? Festival leading with production. <laughs> this is so dumb. I love it. Read all of the announcements. Be creative. We've seen all the same basic jokes already. Try to be different. So I don't have to try to be different. I guess I'm pretty different. I mean, look at my Rode NT1A. It's pretty unique. My first festival I have worked is And we send it. They say this is a grand opportunity to get your name and work finally noticed and that's what I hope to do with my design and I hope that I can design the 40 second stage at Coachella next time. That's my goal with this video. If you want to support me please show this video to people of uh, Coachella. Yeah, I will hit them up with a pretty good design as you can see in the next few minutes. This is the, as I said, the 42nd stage at a massive festival. It's a local stage that features only unsigned local artists. So that's like the key phrase for my design. The placements and trusses and my lights will be built upon this key phrase. We talk about 10,000 bucks for production costs. So let's go over to Vectorworks. We can see um, this SL260 stage line. I already have designed some stuff and I'm quickly gonna run you through. I didn't want to use a lot of trussing so I just decided to use two trusses and I decided to put them in an order where you can see the key phrase of this design. It's basically an X for no so when people come to the stage they hopefully don't stay there because they get negative feelings from it, from this X. You can see a really nice X. So what I hope to do with this design is to suggest people to not stay at the stage, but just keep going because they're only local artists. I mean, what will you expect? So I guess this is the inconvenient truth, but it's the truth. So I just want to save their time and make sure they have a good time, which I won't have at this stage. I want to show you my lighting setup on these trusses. So I wanted to try out something new to give my design the unique edge. A unique edge. A unique edge. Which I always like to do in my programming and design stuff. So I challenged myself to only use two fixtures of the same fixture type. So it turned out I broke this rule a few times in the design. As you will see later, I maybe used a few more lights than only two of a fixture type. But I think it's not critical. Yeah, let's see what I've done. We have a Quantum Profile, MK1 Hybrid, the Roby Spider, Quantum Wash and so on, a lot of fixtures. This is really a unique look. You can really do a lot of stuff with this because you have all those effects. If you have watched my other video, I showed you how you can use effects and how you should use effects in your programming. And then I told you always use every effect the fixture comes with. So the possibilities are endless. 
and the look is endless so it just looks like art so i think this is a really really good design for such a small festival stage oh i forgot something so for the front lights i also wanted to try something new you can see we have some four light blinders here i really don't want to use fresnel lights because you have to focus them and i hate focusing lights uh, so i just use blinders you don't have to focus them just put them at 100 percent and everything is bright so it's great so i thought i was finished at this point but then i took a look at the pricing list and we came up with not even five thousand dollars so i just thought a little bit about the stage and I came up with another idea. I wasn't comfortable with the thought that those artists can move. I think it's too much about them because music festivals are not really about music. They are about the light shows. I thought it's a good idea to just, let's switch over to the 2D view, put some sun strips down in the front part so that these artists don't get too close to to the people um, because they really should know who they are and where they belong. Also now with coronavirus, I think uh, we have a lot of distancing here, uh, which is also pretty good and a pretty important thought. Uh, plus seven, nine. As you can see, sun strips are really cheap. We don't come to the 10K, so just throw some lights somewhere to just get the 10k full. So I placed some pointies left and right on the stage so that there's also no space for the artists. I think this is so beautiful. So as you can see, these pointies are not roofed. Our 90 lighting is based in Seattle. And I was told that in Seattle, it almost never rains. So I think they're pretty safe and I don't have to think about, yeah, waterproof spots or, or beams or whatever. If you put 30 on top, you can see we almost reach our budget of 10k. So you can see this is my stage, this is my lighting design. I think it's pretty good. You can do a bunch of stuff with it. I don't think I will use these pointies and sun strips that often because I don't know what I should do with this huge amount of fixtures. But yeah, I get the money, so I think it's okay. But I'm really looking forward to my truss design and the fixtures on it because yeah, the effect opportunities are endless and you can use so much effects at the same time it's like heaven if you learned something and uh, like the design please like the video too and show it to Coachella and other festival owners and production teams of festivals that they will book me as a lighting designer for their stage i think i can just do the same on like every smaller festival stage and for bigger festival stages maybe we just expand the x to like four x's so i really think i came up with something here i think most festival stages next year will look like this because it's just an awesome design i don't hope this this will happen because i really hope that my designs stay unique r90 if you see this please send me the misspelled anti-lighting lighting hoodie because I think it's as unique as my stage design is. It's as unique as my programming skills are, as my haircut is, as the Rode Anti-1A is. Um, I guess I have never seen this microphone before. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell and, and I see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.